Today I'm gonna show you how to replace the LCD on the uh, Toshiba P P745 S4270. As you see here, the LCD got broken uh, during my trip. Make sure the battery is removed and no. So number one is to basically locate those screws that basically uh, that carries uh, that hold the uh, screen. And if you look here, they're usually covered by plastic stuff there. I removed the bottom one, but I'm gonna remove the one here. As you see here. can remove them either by your finger nails just gently put it behind it or by sharp and small things stuff like a laser blade the four screws and what we're gonna do we're gonna unscrew those it's better if you make your computer flat and this is a, well, as flat as can as it can go for this Toshiba kind you want to remove that bezel well you the way you do it you got to be very you have to be very gentle you put your fingers between the screen and the bezel and you snap it off slowly here okay it's coming off just be careful if you have a lot of resistance make sure you have not missed any screws okay well we, we got the bezel out now we're gonna remove the screen and as you see the LCDs most of LCDs would have six six screws as you see here one is there and second third and there is a three from any other side so we just you just need to take them out and before you do this you see this over there because this has a webcam you have to remove the connection to the webcam okay you removed it and I'm gonna I'm going to remove those screws. Be careful. You remove them. One. Two. Make sure you don't lose any of them, and then make sure they they look similar. Otherwise, you just have to memorize the the sign. So then you flip the screen slowly, flip it over this keyboard like this, okay? And this is a screen. This is an LED that has only one connection. It has the 40 pin connection there, as you see here. Just want to take it out slowly. Usually, it's covered by the tape. See the tape there? Just take it, uh, peel, peel it off slowly and, and just slowly unplug it. Okay. Yeah. I'll do it more. Okay. Okay. Well, we're done with the screen. Let's put it aside. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna put the other screen. So now I'm gonna show you how to put the new screen. I ordered uh, 
this screen from laptopscreen.com. You just have to put your laptop model in. I'll give you the replacement one. And it did not cost me, cost me less than $100 for the shipment. So this is the screen. Again, you're going to make sure it's the same size like the one that you have there the same size and the connection the 40 pin connection are, in, are lined in the same place okay it really comes with a cover let me make this leave the cover lay it over the keyboard like this so the first thing to do, this it's the same, basically the same process, but you just want to do it in reverse. Okay, we're gonna connect it here, as you see here. So I'm gonna connect there, there. Let's do it slowly with two fingers and very gently, because this adapter can cost you more than the screen itself. Okay. I have it there. Still have the tape, so tape it over. You can put another tape if you want. Okay, the other things I want to put is to basically you want to basically put the screen again there and put the screws before you, before you put the screws make sure you connect this adapter the, this one as you see here connected it and snapped it in and we got three screws there well, probably what I would do, I would do one on each side and alternate. Okay, the first two are usually the most. So basically, align, make sure they're aligned with the screen, and I'll just put it. So, yeah, I have. Okay, now I put in those six uh, screws. I'm just excited to see whether this working. I'm just we can try it before we put the bezel on. Well, looks like it's working fine. Excellent. Thanks there. Again, put it back in the same manner, slowly and gently. This is the outside of your computer, so you want to make sure you're not causing any damage. Okay. Yeah. Looks pretty good there. Things now to do is to put those uh, screwdrivers again back. Okay, so now we have those uh, four screws in one. Two, three, four. What left is to put those uh, screws uh, covers on it. Then uh, it cover those screws. Okay. Other one is here. Okay, and the last two, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna turn it on again. 
to make sure it's working fine. I'm happy that it did not cost me a lot to get it fixed.